NBA right now is will Giannis stay or leave the Bucks? He will be an unrestricted free agent after this upcoming season, but could sign a five-year Supermax deal with Milwaukee. His teammate and all-star Chris Middleton had this to say about Giannis yesterday. Quote, we've spent eight years together. We've been through a lot together. Also, so at the end of the day, I want him to do what's best for him and his family. He knows that I deeply want him to return and sign the extension, but at the same time, I know he's got a decision that he's got to work through himself and with his family at home because those are the most important people. Now, in efforts to keep Giannis, the Bucks have acquired Drew Holiday and also attempted to bring in Bogdanovich until the deal fell apart. Max, if Milwaukee doesn't make any moves, should Giannis sign the Super Max extension with the Bucks? And Max, I said you first. No, he shouldn't. And I know that's a lot of money to leave on the table. But the way the NBA structures things, no one leaves before six years if they demand a trade or seven years if they leave in free agency because you leave too much money on the table. You want that first mini max deal, which Giannis already had. He made $100 million, so he's going to be fine. I'm not counting anyone's money, but let's be realistic. It's not like the dude hasn't made money yet and isn't in a position where he doesn't have to grab right now because he hasn't come into the big cash, right? That's number one. Number two, yes, they made moves. I love Drew Holiday. Let's take a, a player similar to Giannis, at least in terms of value and size, right? Anthony Davis, who a lot of people might say right now is better than Giannis. I don't know. Anthony Davis, right in his prime, had Drew Holiday, had Miritich, who was hurt but was healthy for the playoffs, had Rondo, had a nice little team around him, did nothing in the playoffs, didn't do anything. And do you know why they didn't do anything? Because if you're a great big, and Giannis can handle the ball, but in the playoffs he plays like a big, right? You need a, a, another dude who's just as good as you, but's not a big. Shaq needed Kobe or Dwayne Wade. Kareem needed Magic Johnson or Oscar Robinson. Like, this is the way it works. You need a, a big needs enough. Drew Holiday is an excellent player. Love Drew Holiday. He and Chris Middleton, now you're on to something. You need more. Even had the Bogdanovich trade gone through, I still would have said they're a little light. And the problem, guys, is the owners played Milwaukee and Giannis cheap last year when they let Brogdon walk out the door so they could avoid a steep luxury tax bill because Brogdon, forget about how much value he has on the team, could have been used to make an additional move. You need so much in the NBA to win a championship. LeBron had Kyrie and Kevin Love and was overmatched in the finals because of the super team in Golden State, right? We look at all the excellent teams in the West, and they didn't have anything for the Lakers because the Lakers had LeBron and AD. Where is the other superstar on the Bucks? Let me tell you where he is. He ain't coming. He's never going to play with that guy if he stays in Milwaukee. If Giannis, who's already said championships are the most important thing, if he believes that, he's going to have to leave. Well, well, AP, you want this or you want me to go? Let me tell you what. Okay, go ahead. Uh, now, let me get them real quick. First of all, Max, let me tell you where you were wrong, all right? When Golden State beat LeBron James, Kyrie and Kevin Love both were injured. Kyrie got injured in game one. Kevin First Love time. didn't play in that series. When Kyrie and Kevin First Love time. did play, they won. The next time... I'm talking what? about with KD, the Perk. The KD teams. KD, wait, listen... With the KD teams, this is what I'm telling you, Max. Okay, at the end of the day, this is what I'm saying. When you look at Giannis, I'm going to go back to the point. When you look at Giannis and you look at the situation that he's in, he's holding the keys. The Milwaukee organization, yes, they may have dropped the ball last year by not bringing Brogdon back, but they're making up to Giannis. You have a new gym. They're building stuff around you. They're, they're, they're listening to your needs. They went out and been, they was aggressive in free agency. They picked up an a all-star type player, a two-way player in Drew Holiday, and you still have an all-star in Chris Middleton, who you love so dearly, and Giannis. You are the defensive player of the year and the MVP. So maybe it's time for you to up your game. Max, you keep talking about giving more or having more. If uh, having a big three like that with an uh, MVP on there is not enough, I don't know what, how much more you could get. And on top of that, listen, he also, three. let me tell you how much Milwaukee is catering to Giannis. Not only is his brother sitting on the bench, you know, collecting a check and, and using up a seat, you know, just because his brother is Giannis on the Coupo, that, that's one thing. But then on another, think about in the past, guys like the great Shaquille O'Neal, Grant Hill, who all who came back after they retired and said in stories talking about, you know, um, 
They said if they, the only regrets that they had was leaving their franchises too early and not watching it play out. If that's not enough information for Giannis, alongside getting 200 and plus million dollars and the organization is catering to you, I don't know what else you need. Here's where I'm coming from, guys. I agree with KP, uh, albeit for some different reasons, but I agree with KP that Giannis is signed. First of all, get your money first. You can always be traded later. Get your money first. Uh, that's number one. Get that Supermax deal. Get that money and go from there. That's number one. Number two, last time I tracked, Drew Holiday is a, is, a, is, a, is a pretty damn good player. Not only did he average 19 a game on 45% shooting, he's one of the elite perimeter defenders in the game. You know, and anybody who's played this game would tell you that. This guy is special on that level. Number three, when you take into account what they tried to do now, if they didn't open their big fat mouths and reveal that essentially they were going to have Bogdanovich, he'd be there too. So that was a that was a flaw on their part, and there's no excuse for that kind of ineptitude, no doubt about it. But still, when you look at the Milwaukee Bucks, you can make a legitimate argument that right now, they're still the number one seed in the East. The bottom line is KD's coming back. As you said, Max, you don't anticipate he'll be 100%. What's he going to be like? You've complained about Kyrie Irving and the kind of cancerous effect you deem he has had on rosters and could potentially have on this roster. So that's a reason not to have Brooklyn elevated, even though I believe Brooklyn is. You have it. So when I look at Milwaukee right now and what Drew Holiday brings to the table on both ends of the floor and the fact that you got him with Giannis at the coupon. And then we're looking at a guy with Middleton. Middleton's got to step up, no question about it. But while we're sitting up here and condemning Chris Middleton from time to time, let's remember the guy has averaged, he averaged 20 last year. He's a career 16-point per game uh, scorer, but he averaged 20 last year, 18 the year before. He shot 45% from the field, 41% from three-point range. He's a career 39% shooter from three-point range and a career 45% shooter. The brother can score and he can play. And so when you talk about the combination of him with Drew Holiday and Giannis Antetokounmpo, and then you take into account the fact that it's the Eastern Conference, and then you look at the fact that you got an opportunity to get a super max deal, to me, guess what? With Milwaukee willing to do everything for this brother, everything under the sun, all right, if you have an opportunity to compete, you were the number one offense last year, number one. All right, and we know with Budenholzer, you're going to play defense, so you got a chance. And if I'm thinking along those lines and I see a Supermax deal on the table for me, I can always force my way out, like, like Harden's trying to do once I, once I sign the Supermax deal. If I were him, I'd say, you know what, roll the dice, stay, because you're going to get paid and you're going to be able to compete. You could have saved a lot of breath. You made one excellent point. And only one, Supermax, get the money, worry about a trade later. I can respect that, although it gives you less leverage. Here's the problem, guys. Neither one of you want to address this. I brought it up to start the segment. Anthony Davis is maybe the second best player in the world. He played on a team with Drew Holiday and Rondo and, and Miranich. It was just them two, Max. Nothing. They got to the playoffs and it got was just them two. He... What's that? It was just them two. You can't. You can put Rondo all you want to, but it wasn't like they were playing the Lakers or the Clippers. They were playing the greatest shooting backcourt in history. The point is the right. One that the you point talk about. is AD. Even AD needed LeBron James to win a championship. He won Ugh. sniffing a championship before that. Shaquille O'Neal back in the day had Penny in his prime with guys like Horace Grant, Nick Anderson, all those guys, right? He had to leave to get to Kobe Bryant to win a championship. And then Dwayne Wade, it is gangster in the NBA. A nice team that looked competitive on paper, that team doesn't win. You have to go to where it's lopsided talent. With, right, when the Warriors added KD, now they're a juggernaut, they win. You guys are talking about Harden should go to Brooklyn. If Harden goes to Brooklyn, oh my God, right. KD and Kyrie and Harden, that's what it takes. But Guys, Middleton's a nice player. Every roster has a dude like Middleton on it. He's a ni I like Middleton. In a good season, he's an all-star, though he goes away in the playoffs. Drew Holiday's excellent. Love him. Drew Holiday and Middleton with, with Giannis is not going to be enough. And we all know it. They need more. They blew Ma their chance to get more, not only by blowing the Bogdanovich situation, which also may not have been enough, 
but by, by letting Malcolm Brogdon walk out the door so they have less now to go out and get what they need. Guys, my point is this. No three agents coming to Milwaukee. You have a major point right? again? It's over. Milwaukee Max. will be competitive, but they Max, won't win a championship, and we all know it. It's over. Max, first of all, look, you, you, listen. What Stephen A. Smith was trying to tell you is that right now you're talking like a typical fan, okay? See, this is what people fail to realize. The NBA is a job, and you work to get paid. And I, t I used to tell all the rookies that was coming up under me, all the younger guys, hey, look, first thing first is get your money. Worry about everything else second, right? And so, Giannis, right now you have a sure. chance to get $200 plus million, secure the bag. Word, like Stephen A. Smith said, get your letters, and then if you're not happy, force your Do way out. Trade. But, Max, I'm going to give you up. Max, I'm going to give you an example, okay? I'm going to give you an example. LeBron James left Cleveland, went to Miami, won two championships. But we all know how that ended with him and Pat Riley, right? It ended on bad blood. Right now, Giannis holds the keys to this franchise. The owners give, is giving him all the power. We don't know if he goes somewhere what? else that he's going to have this type of power or leverage. So right now, with the owners doing everything that you're asking them to do, take your bread and what? give it a Wait. shot. They blew it. They blew it. Owners blew it in Milwaukee. We all know it. You, you no, 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 we don't know guys? that. We Houston blew okay. uh, Houston Houston blew their chance. Their window has closed. You can't say, you wouldn't, and to use your words, Max, you wouldn't sit here and say Milwaukee's not live. You wouldn't sit up there and say they're, they're not live. live, they don't have a shot. We'd say Houston they're doesn't have a shot. You wouldn't say that about live. Milwaukee right now. And if they're live, what I'm saying why is not? This, guys, I'll tell you why, Stephen A. Because had he had they done the right thing, I would say stay. They played him cheap at the wrong time. If he was in uh, L.A., if he was in some market, Miami, if he was in a market that was attractive to free agents, I would say, okay, there'll be more chances. There won't Max, be in Milwaukee. They got to work with what they have Max, now, and it's just, not enough. It's not quite enough. Max, Max, real quick, can you just tell Stephen A., myself, and, my, and Molly? What is your point? Who, who do you think Giannis need to go pal with to win a championship? Can you just tell us that then? Giannis, well, for example, James Harden's on the move, right? Giannis needs a dude like that. He needs to pair himself with a guy as good as him. He asked you where, Max? The way Shaq did, the way Kareem He asked did. you where? I'd we didn't Max, ask you I for a soliloquy or a dissertation I, that, that, on the circumstances. He asked you where should the Greek freak it, go? It could be... It no, where do you like think Miami. he should it go? It could be a place like Golden State. <laughs> where do you it's think not, he it should could go? Be. That's all. All right, the best place for him, the best place for him That's with all I'm asking. match up and trade with is probably Dallas. Okay, thank you. We At least we got the answer. Probably That's Dallas. That's all we asked. Okay, you got your answer, you got the point, point, you got exactly the Dallas. That's all we asked. Go. I know it's not with Milwaukee. I mean, okay, damn, okay. that's all we asked. We we got to roll. Got to roll. Uh, the Bucks have lost 8 of 13 playoff games. No bueno. When we come back, we got some...